Hyundai, our philosophy of new thinking, new possibilities, is exemplified by our work in developing a technology that allows our iX35 fuel cell electric vehicle to run on hydrogen and emit nothing but water vapor. New thinking, new possibilities, isn't a catchphrase simply developed by the people in marketing. It's a commitment that has seen Hyundai invest tens of billions of euros over the past 15 years in fuel cell technology alone. We are the first company in the world to mass produce fuel cell electric vehicles. This iX35 fuel cell is the result of 15 years of research and engineering. It's the first step in the new era. It's a journey that started in 1998 with the establishment of a fuel cell research unit. Two years later in 2000, we launched our first FCEV prototype using the Santa Fe. This had a modest range of 141 kilometers and a fuel cell power output of 65 kilowatts. In 2000, the Santa Fe was launched as a hybrid fuel cell unit. At that time, it was not a hybrid fuel cell unit, but a fuel cell unit as a fuel cell unit. It was a fuel cell unit as a fuel cell unit, about 150 kilometers to 200 kilometers. 확보할 수 있었습니다. 그러나 현재 저희 현대 연료전지 자동차는 어, 하이브리드 개념을 적용하여 최대 200, 600km 정도가 주행 가능한 기술력을 이루었습니다. The following decade saw a continual improvement in performance and power as Hyundai engineers continued to refine and test our technology. In 2010, we reached a landmark, clocking up a total distance of 2 million kilometers in testing, the equivalent of driving an FCEV vehicle 50 times around the equator. We tested the fuel cell vehicle under different European uh, weather conditions. In the winter, we have to take care that it's not get frozen, that we have tested in our climate chamber down to minus 25 degrees. So that means we are doing there outside on the highway in the city to convince and consider all driving conditions during the usage at the customer. Today, Hyundai's production line FCEV has 100 kilowatts of power, a range of 600 kilometers, acceleration of 0 to 100 km per hour in 12.5 seconds and a top speed of 160 km per hour. But it's not only the performance of our vehicles, safety is also of paramount importance. We have simulated and conduct severe crash tests with our hydrogen tank. And our focus was rear crash because there are the, the tanks located and even the, the battery. But we did the tests two to three times more difficult and more challenging like you can normally expect within your car. We're fulfilling all worldwide standards that you can feel really safe. The fuel cell vehicle is as safe as any other car on the road today. During the last decade, other green vehicle systems have also been developed. These include hybrids and a fully electric vehicle. So how does FCEV compare to these other technologies? In a fuel cell vehicle, there are no moving parts, no piston moving away, which is producing much less noise. The recharging will be in a similar time duration like your standard car. You can refill your vehicle in a few minutes. You don't have to wait overnight. But it means you have not to adapt yourself driving a hydrogen vehicle that much compared to an electrical car. You can drive it like a normal vehicle. It's uh, just more silent than a normal car. And it has a, a feel of, of, of lightness. Today we have the world's first production line FCEV vehicle, the iX35. As the network of hydrogen filling stations continues to rise across Europe, so increasingly motorists will have a far greater choice on the type of technology they opt for. 
I'm confident that uh, hydrogen vehicles will be part of the uh, system or the cars in future. I hope that also the noise pollution in, in cities will reduce dramatically. Our responsibilities is to build up cars to save the environment for the future. Yeah, this would help for a better place to live.